So what we've done is we used a two-maneuver strategy. Uh, first, we drove the inclination to zero at an apogee over here. We had VA, and we did a delta V basically uh, <coughs> perpendicular to the equatorial plane of 0.785 kilometers per second. And that changed this inclined orbit into this <coughs> equatorial orbit. I tried to show this, uh, <coughs> this aspect to be uh, smaller to indicate the tilt that we've achieved uh, in getting into the equatorial plane. Now we add the circularizing burn along the VA, the velocity and apogee, uh, so we add 1.480 and we got that total of 2.265 kilometers per second. Now that's not bad, but is there a better strategy? Well, I wouldn't be asking the question if I didn't know there was a slightly better strategy. So here's the answer to that. We're going to do what's called a combined maneuver strategy. Now consider the view along apogee toward the Earth. Let me go back to my previous picture for just a moment. <clears throat> so if we put our eye over here and look in this direction, okay, we're looking along the apogee towards Earth direction and considering these velocities here. That picture looks like this, looking toward the Earth, down into the page. And here is the inclined orbit that we are in. Here's the equatorial plane. This is the speed we want. The circular speed, I call it VC2. The first the circular speed was the speed in uh, uh, LEO, so I use VC2 for the circular speed in uh, the geostationary orbit. 3.075 kilometers per second. So that's this value. That's what we want. Okay. The velocity at apogee, after doing the first part of the Hohmann transfer and getting out to apogee, we calculated to be 1.595 kilometers per second. So how do we get from here to here? Well, we can do a maneuver along this direction, which is we'll call delta V combined. And so what we have here is essentially a vector addition, or basically just solve this triangle. Uh, we have a psi that we know. What we want is VC2. And we also know VA, and we know the angle, so we have side, angle, side to compute this uh, final side. And so we can use the <coughs> law of cosines for an oblique triangle. And that says to get the delta V combined, squared, we take the other two sides squared and subtract two times each of those values times the cosine, the angle between the two sides. And plugging in numbers, 1.595 kilometers per second and 3.075 kilometers per second and cosine of 28.5, we get this value for the squared value. And taking the square, we have a delta V combined of 1.838 kilometers per second. <coughs> and that gives us a savings because we had 2.265 kilometers per second before from the... Uh, <coughs> Uh, arithmetic addition of the two delta V's. Here we're considering the vectorial addition of the vol velocities we need, and we get a smaller maneuver, and this saves us a lot of propellant. So that concludes our presentation on inclination change maneuver and the effect of launch site.